Hello YouTube, so I wanted to do a video right here to show you guys just what happens when your bunker gets attacked and when your bunker gets invaded. As you can see, as you guys can see right here, this is my bunker being attacked and this is the first time that it's actually happened and even though my bunker is all the way up north near Fort Zancudo, somehow the thieves got the supplies all the way down here and I pull up here, I actually didn't know what I was expecting when I pulled up here. I was actually really scared because when I did the MC missions and you die, you lose all the um, p product. So I was really scared to die, so I really took my time with this right here. But I see these, these guys, and these guys are already taking a lot more damage because I have armor-piercing uh, rounds on this rifle. And these guys are taking a lot more damage than usual for NPCs. So there's a ton of these guys around, and they're like being very aggressive. They're trying to flank me. I'm killing these guys, and also my, my uh, thankfully my friends were in my MC right away, helping me. And I told them, "Hey, my bunker's getting attacked. Can you help? Help me." My friends come over here and help me in a second. So I'm just taking cover here. I'm just waiting for them all to come here, just auto shotgunning them. So once you um once you clear out the enemies right here, as I started moving up on these guys, you're gonna notice there's three bombs on the truck that's carrying your gun shipment. And you have five minutes to defuse all three bombs, and each bomb you have to defuse individually. And what my friends told me, my friends told me that while I was doing this activity right here, it's a typical hack missions, more NPCs were coming and spawning and attacking me. So when you do these hack missions, you have to be very, very quick because not only do you have a timer going down, but you also have more NPCs coming at you and trying to, um, and trying to stop you. And if this truck gets destroyed, you basically lose all your guns, everything in the bunker, even if it's $700,000 completely full. In this case, though, my um, uh, my bunker was not completely full. I was like at 400,000, I believe, and it, and I, I and I didn't have full supplies, so it was just sitting in there for like a a bit of time with no supplies. I think that's what triggered it because it, nothing was producing, and that's just what happened. So as you guys can see right here, I diffused the bombs, and then what what got me what I was like what because. I had to drive the truck all the way across the map, and you guys see how far this shit is from my bunker right now, so this this can literally be such a pain in the ass, especially if you're in a bad lobby, if this happens to you. And I was in a full lobby right here with my friends doing this, so I was like terrified, I was terrified that somebody was gonna destroy my cargo, because there's so many trolls in this game. So we're, we're exiting now, and we're getting out of here, and I see a jet flying around, and I'm already getting paranoid. But I started planning this. I started planning this trip out with my friend, and one of my friends here, he got in his Karuma and started following me and protecting me on the ground. Another friend got into a buzzard as a decoy, and then another one of my friends, she got into a fighter jet and started protecting, um, protecting me. So I had this. I had this whole trip planned out and how we were gonna get back to the, um, how we were gonna get back to the bunker. And right here, I decided just to go under here for like a little bit and just hide in this little building just so the fighter jets couldn't get me because I was terrified that the yellow guy in the jet was going to come over here and try to blow this truck up. I, be I believe this truck is very sensitive. This truck blows up very easily. It doesn't, um, it doesn't take as nearly as much damage as other um, delivery vehicles. All right here, we're making a trip. Thankfully, though, this truck is decently fast. This truck can get up to 100 miles per hour on the highway when you start going up. So this truck is fast. You, you got, it doesn't have great acceleration, but you just got to get up there in speed. And once you get up there in speed, you can maintain a good 100 miles per hour, and then you can get there decently fast. I was just really paranoid to get out of this city as quick as possible because this was a full lobby and there were just so many players. But there was a war zone going on in the very bottom of the map where the yellow guys were just fighting someone down there. So they seemed pretty occupied, and the guy with the jet passed right over me, so he didn't seem too interest, interested in what I was carrying here. So I'm just going back to the bunker right now, and once I get on the highway, it's smooth sailing. This is another tip why, why having a bunker on the highway is very good for you, because you can just get, you can, if you're ever stealing supplies, you get them really there quickly, and in this case, if you need to get this truck there quickly pronto, it's going to help you. If, you had, if I had this like in Sandy Shores, uh, this one might potentially screw me over because I would have to take so many side roads and it would not be great. Okay, so Karuma, Karuma is covering me in the front, helicopters in the back, it's being used as a decoy, and the jet is also flying in the air covering me. So I got a, I got a decent amount covering me, but it's not smooth sailing until I get on the highway. Once I'm on the highway, I'm pretty much good. The only thing that can really bother me on the highway is another fighter jet, but that doesn't seem to happen. Thankfully, though, they give you they give you a decent truck again. This truck is decently fast. Not the greatest handling, not the greatest acceleration, but once you get up there in acceleration, it does go pretty fast. 
So thankfully they do give you a decent truck for this mission. If they gave you something else, they gave you like the mule or something, that would just be horrible. Now, now we're getting a ton of speed that we're going to get to the bunker pretty fast. It's near Fort Zancudo. Okay, we are almost there, we are arriving at the bunker, and we pretty much got this. So, uh, I'm still not sure what causes you to be attacked. I think it just might be a, a chance at, at random, because I have the security upgrades that I have not gotten attacked. This is, this is almost a month after the update, and this is actually the first time I've gotten attacked. So this is a lot more rarer than what I encounter with the MC businesses, because the MC businesses, even though I had the upgrades, I would get attacked a lot. So... Right here, uh, the security upgrade I think is definitely worth it because this is, this is my only time getting attacked in three weeks. Yeah, that's great. But I think I think what might have caused it is that the production stopped, and my bunker it had a ton of a ton of product in there, and no nobody was producing anything. And I think that's what caused it. I think I think if you keep producing, I think you are less much less likely to get attacked. I think it's when you run out of supplies that you're the most vulnerable. And let's see. There we go. Bunker has been defended. Supplies and product product have been returned. So that's what happens when your bunker gets attacked. Let me know of any questions, concerns you guys have, and I hope you've enjoyed this one. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone.